Well, here's a sobering statistic about teen pregnancy. It's on the rise for the first time in 15 years. Some are wondering if Hollywood is playing a role, like the recent birth by 17-year-old TV star Jamie Lynn Spears. In Hollywood, the must-have item is no longer the hybrid car, the iPhone, or even the athlete husband. Rather, the newest trend in Hollywood is something money can't buy. From Brangelina to Tomcat, it's a celebrity baby boom that has become Hollywood's must-have accessory. That ain't no etch-a-sketch. This is one doodle that can't be undid, Holmes Gillett. In the film Juno, the title character who mistakenly got pregnant echoes the real-life experience of Jamie Lynn Spears, who at the age of 17 just gave birth to a baby girl. My sister had a child at a young age, too, and I understand what that, that's like. And uh, you just hope the family supports her and helps her with the baby. It's a stark reminder for the parents whose young children look up to celebrities like Nicole Richie and Halle Berry, both of whom recently gave birth out of wedlock, that the estimated 750,000 teenage pregnancies across the country who can't afford nannies and full-time help, the glitz and glamour of the red carpet is reserved for only the Hollywood elite. Joining us now is Sarah Brown from the National Campaign to Prevent Teen and Unplanned Pregnancy. Good morning. Good morning, Julie. Do you see a link between Hollywood and teens getting pregnant out of wedlock? Well, there's no question that Hollywood is influential. The celebrity glitz and the coolness of it all can be confusing to young girls. They may think that maybe they could have a bit of Hollywood, too, if they had a little bump. So I think it has a role. So what should a parent do? Well, the parents have to be the filter. They have to sit down with their sons and daughters and say, you don't live in Hollywood, and you're not going to raise your child in Hollywood. So, you know, life is real and life is tough. And the notion that you're going to have, you know, designer handbags and baby showers and so forth is simply not real. It's fun to read about, but it's not you. But when does reality set in for these young girls who are getting pregnant while in high school, out of wedlock? Well, it sets in all too soon because what happens is, of course, their education's interrupted. Uh, the boyfriend or man is usually not around two, three, four months later. Do and these they, young girls think that these men will be around? I think they may hope sometimes. You know, they engage in magical thinking. They're young. They're very young. So parents need constantly over many, many years, 18 years, to be talking about the seriousness of pregnancy, the importance of education, and the simple fact that babies need adult parents. But at what age do you st start talking to your teenager, or, or to your child? I mean, maybe before they become teens? Well, Julie, that's the point. It's an 18-year conversation. It's not sort of one awkward Tuesday night at the kitchen table. This is a long conversation about respectful relationships, about what children need, not just what adolescents want. And so it goes on and on and on, and it's fathers as well as mothers, and it's for boys as well as girls. What are the odds that a young girl having a baby out of wedlock as a teenager in high school where that young girl and her baby will have a happy life where there's financial stability and mental stability? Well, it puts all those things at risk. They are likely to remain single parents. Even if they do get married, they probably will not have a stable marriage. So, you know, they're probably not going to have a very good job because they haven't been able to complete their education. And remember, in this economy, with oil prices apparently going higher and higher, mm -hmm. the need for education, not just high school, but two and four years beyond, has never been greater. So anything that gets in the way of that risks poverty, and that means the child is raised in a tough environment. Sarah Brown, thank you. Thank you.